it's gonna be one of these days, isn't it? I'm on my way to meet up with Bob Ferguson right now, and we're gonna spend the day wandering around in the woods looking for snakes, but for now, I'm gonna sit at this train track for way too long. Well, that's not something I was expecting to see this morning. A snake on the road, look at that guy. A little red belly. Well, that dude is kind of beautiful. That's a great way to start the day, but Bob is waiting on me, so I'm just gonna make sure this guy gets out of the road. There you go, buddy. All right, Bob has our next snake of the day. First one we found together, a nice little worm snake. How you been, Bob? It's been a while. Pretty good, yeah. Looking forward to getting down here with you well, once a year, once every year and a half. Well, hopefully we can get into some good stuff today. We're on the board. And next snake of the day, ring neck. It's been a whole lot of fossorial stuff lately and not a lot of targets. So under that rock, we have a clutch of small snake eggs I think there's a good chance those could be Scarlet King, but there was also our first Tantilla of the day. Here's an adult. An adult? Yeah, another Tantilla. So here you can see the juvenile and the adult. The juvenile is a little more starkly colored. And Tantilla, it's a good sign. Another little guy. Very small. Scarlet King! Yeah. <laughs> it's huge! Hey, dude. Yep. I think it's about to shed, like, it's either just going into shed or just coming out of shed. Oh my goodness. Maybe he's just, he might actually just be a little bit ugly. <laughs> but I mean, it's a Scarlet King under a rock. Did you clip all these? Yeah. Those are the ones I was telling you about earlier that I got the Tantilla under and I thought looked perfect. Cold to the touch. Well, it's far from the prettiest Scarlet King we've seen, but man, it just feels good to get one. Oh, that is so fantastic. Hopefully the flip clip came out pretty good because I did not take an NC2 picture just because I was too excited and worried he was going to go down that crack. Pretty happy with that, Bob? Hell yeah. You beat me up on this hike, but it's <laughs> worth it. <laughs> what an interesting looking snake, though. Just very different from the other Scarlet King we found in the same area this year. We're not far from it, but just very dark. If I had to guess, I'd say this snake will be deep blue next week and going into its first shed cycle of the year. Very, very cool. Exactly what we were hoping for here today. We'll put him back under his rock and see if we can get another one. We're gonna have to head back to the car here though because we are running out of water and food. So we're running low on human fuel, unfortunately. You kind of see how cool this guy is even though he's not as vibrant as he would be with a fresh shed. Look at those wide bands. Gorgeous, gorgeous snake. The crown jewel of these forests. We're gonna put it back under its rock and try to find another one. I've never gotten two in a day here before, at least flipping rocks. It's that time of the day, melted granola bar by the creek. This would be a cool place to hike into and spend the night. Look at this. Crazy. All right, well, we're very, very low on water, so we're starting back to the car, but I did just happen to flip. Get another little Tantilla, let him go. Well, this one's a little bit prettier than the other big one we found. So Tantilla was over there, and then right here in this stuff, another worm. These guys are also very, very floppy. Look at this thing, chill. I just, I simply want to put you down. <laughs> Look at him. There he goes, right back under his rock. All right, Bob wants to flip his own Scarlet King, and I think there's one under there. And maybe this one too. There's this one right here. But that one too, just flip that one while you're at it. No, buddy. That one right there is perfect. Up against the roots in the sun. It's a little bit thicker, so it's not gonna be scorching hot. I'm just gonna... Nope, that's not gonna work. Oh, it's an uh, ant it's rock. Ants. All right, Bob. You ready? Yep. Look at that hole. There could have been a pine snake under that rock. 
just depends on which one you find. A ring neck. He just instantly, oh there he is. Jesus, he's cracked out. Yeah, he went flying through the leaf litter. I see him still. Oh, holy crap, this is the fastest ring neck ever. Jeez. All right. Ring neck. What is that, 15 to zero? <laughs> Oh, a, a smooth earth snake. Yeah, that's cool. Under a great rock. He's just coiled perfectly. Very nice. Another species for the day. Smooth earth snake. Big game here today, fellas. Bob just flipped his first snake of the day. <laughs> nice little worm snake. People often ask me if I'm scared. Well, yeah, I'm scared, but I do it anyway. All right, guys, we are headed back to the car through this kind of recently burned area here. But uh, we'll see if we can find anything out in the open. It's kind of weird we haven't seen anything yet. All right, Bob, I'd say we did pretty well, wouldn't you? Yeah, uh, Noah kicked my <laughs> butt today. This was <laughs> really hard, but it was worth it. We got our target and it was great hanging out all day. And I, I got to, uh, you know, help with finding that awesome worm snake at the end of the yeah. day, so. Clutch calendars next year? Yeah, I do them. I'll do them every year. I'm not going to push as hard, but I, they will be available. They'll be available for yeah. the people that want them. Bob's just here for the day, so unfortunately, this will be our only outing, but it was a good one. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day, and I am up and at it, ready to go pretty hard today. We're going to be exploring a new area of a familiar spot in hopes of finding some new habitat, some new rocks to flip that we haven't flipped before, and hopefully some snakes. So I'm going to strap up the GoPro and get to it. Unfortunately, there is like a lot of smoke in the air today. I guess they're doing a control burn somewhere nearby, which in the end is definitely a good thing, but it's not going to be nice on my lungs while I'm climbing mountains and flipping rocks today. That was a red-bellied snake. Look at that little guy. Wow, he's pretty. Well, the first snake of the day is a pretty good one and not something I flip under rocks out here too often. That is a very nice looking striped phase red bellied snake. That is a sharp looking little snake. I'm definitely happy to see that guy. I have not seen as many of these this spring as we normally do, but uh, I'll just let him go into the leaf litter right here by his rock. I'm assuming he'll end up right back where he was when we first found him. A ring neck. That was kind of cool. Get a quick voucher of him. And then we'll just put that back. Oh, Tantilla. That guy was practically basking. He came flopping out of there. Worm snake. Or, no, another tantilla. This one's just in shed. There's one under that rock, and this guy was under this rock. Whoa, look at that guy. Big red salamander. Come here, dude. <laughs> look at the size of that thing. That's incredible. That is a big red salamander look at that guy kind of a random find but i'll take it he's having a hard time navigating the slope so i'm gonna put him back under his log what a unit it's kind of neat this little slimy salamander has really cool green coloration on him almost looks like a green salamander Ooh, double ring neck well i wish that rock had something a little less common underneath it because it was a great rock but that was a cool flip two of these guys Ooh, another red belly it's kind of weird another striped one too so this one's a little bit more in shed than the last one looks like this guy's just going into shed and he's a little bit muddy but still really weird that we flipped two of these striped phase red bellies so far today 
This one actually has a much more colorful belly than the last one did. He kind of had a more yellow belly. I guess this one does too towards the front, but very nice. We'll let him go back under his rock. Oh, smooth earth. Look at that guy. It's like every time we get into snakes, we get into a couple of them. But this little smooth earth is just chilling out with a scorpion. There's a worm snake in between the layers. This guy is still covered in dew. Look at that. This is the most natural setting I've ever seen a vulture in. I'm assuming they're gonna nest right there. Or they're already nesting somewhere in these caves right here. That's neat. Look at that guy or girl. Tiny worm snake. Look at that little dude. Very, very small. Microscopic. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, it's deep in shed. That's a bummer. Still cool though. There we go. Scarlet King Snake. The big goal for the day. This one's in shed, which is a real bummer. I think this is the first one I have ever rock flipped in shed. It's actually kind of cool to see one of these that's this deep in shed because it looks so different from when we normally find them. But uh, I had just flipped all these nice looking rocks right here. Saw a couple of like fossil rails. I saw a worm snake. Then I get to this one that doesn't even really look like it's worth flipping. And sure enough, it produced. I definitely always prefer to see snakes out of shed because you can see truly how beautiful they are. But this guy looks like he would have much more yellow, creamy yellow bands than uh, the ones that we have seen so far this year. So definitely a little bit of a different look. But I'm gonna get some quick photos and then we'll put him back. All right, beautiful. There you go. Just gonna have to wet your way under there. Go on. Just gotta find a hole she can get in, I guess. There you go. Nice. Oh, is that a worm? Sure is a worm. Good stuff. All right, y'all, we're getting to that point in the day where the shadows are getting long. And I'm about to start heading back to the car because I am tired and I have injured my hand flipping rocks. But with that being said, it was a fantastic day. Yesterday wasn't too bad either. And I think together they will make a pretty good episode. Anytime we can get out into the woods and find a Scarlet King Snake is a good day in my opinion. So I think I'm going to wrap this one up here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time.